Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this event always gets me so full um, because today we are gathered here to celebrate the past the present and the future. But first I wanna say some very important thank yous. And this might take a minute, so I'm just gonna warn y'all in advance. Um, I wanna thank my family. First and foremost, my parents, Ricky and Tony. Please stand. You know where Ricky is, he all gallivanting with the people. Um, my parents were high school sweethearts and they still remain together to this day. Life has not always been easy for them, but even when things have been tough, they have always managed to figure out a way to make this thing called life work. They are literally the reason why I am who I am today. Um, and when I go to work, I think about them and people like them who have worked hard their entire lives and just want to enjoy retirement comfortably. People who just want back what they have put into the system. So I fight to protect things like Social Security and Medicare. I wanna thank my siblings who are always tardy to the party, so they may not be here yet. But they now have their own families and their families depend on them to make ends meet. My sister is a small business owner of a childcare facility in the city of Cleveland. And my brother is a union worker and an aspiring entrepreneur. And me, for those who don't know, I'm a recovering entrepreneur. <laughs> but they are constant reminders why we must fight for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Something that is being attacked in the halls of Congress every day. It's important to me to ensure those who have not traditionally had the opportunity to join a union or to own a business are given the opportunity to earn a decent living even without a college degree. So when I see my sister, I am reminded why access to capital is essential to starting and operating a business, which is part of the reason we have held two small business expos providing hundreds of people direct access to numerous government agencies, resources, and grant opportunities. Y'all can clap for that. <laughs> think about my nieces and nephews, three of which are now adults, and I am reminded of the possibility of them fulfilling their own version of the American dream, whatever that may be. If it's finding a good paying job or going to college without amassing so much debt that the only way to get back on track is student debt while I'm released. I think about them simply having the right to decide when and if they want to start a family. A decision that hangs in the balance during this election, despite Ohioans showing up last year and decisively supporting a woman's right to make her own healthcare decisions without the fear of being criminalized or not. You know, I often wonder why so many of my Republican colleagues are more comfortable banning abortions in books than by capacity military war weapons. That's right. That's right. You know, I think about my aging uncle and aunts who have all experienced some type of health issue, some that come with age, and some because of the disparities our communities face because of our race. And I am so thankful we have been able to protect the Affordable Care Act because people that need health insurance alone would be denied coverage because they have pre-existing conditions. That includes nearly one million Ohioans who have diabetes or asthma. And speaking of diabetes, I was proud to support the Inflation Reduction Act, which has capped the cost of insulin prices at $35 a month. And will soon cost prescription drug prices for seniors at $2,000 per year beginning next year. 